trying to make a recording for a while. And because I'm technically challenged and spatially challenged, whatever, challenges. Uh, <laughs> the camera fell down. Then the whole laptop fell off the table. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> I've got a box from our D's Creative Hands. I think it was yesterday. Today is Thursday. And she just had her live on Saturday. So I'm thinking it came Wednesday. I know it came fast. Um, but I think this is the first box of winnings plus happy mail from Abigail Van Hooten. Uh, Dee's Creative Hands. She's amazing. She goes live every Saturday from 6 to approximately 8 p.m. Lots of giveaways. The chat gets real busy. We get to all meet up with each other and then we have some new folks coming in, becoming members and subscribing. You know, we do ask, be a subscriber. I mean, Dee gives away <laughs> hundreds of dollars worth of yarn and, and Abigail contributes with her blessing bags. Sherry Knowles contributes. Um, it's just amazing the amount of love and generosity that's displayed and freely given, you know. Um, we have a great time. So anyway, I've got this box full of goodies. As I was opening it earlier, every, every the world went haywire. <laughs> so, I got the lid off, so let's see what we can do here. I don't even know what camera's working. Okay, the webcam in the ca in the laptop is working. I got the camera up there. I've got a camera over here that was working. Now it's not. Can I switch cameras? Let's see. Nope, not while I'm recording. Okay. Oh, oh, oh got it. Okay. I got this great box full of stuff with a wonderfully sweet card from Dee, which I won't read because it's kind of personal. But she says she does love and appreciate me more than I know. It feels so good. Um, yes, I got some of the bobbin yarn everybody was going crazy over that I missed out on. It went for sale for $2.99. Then <laughs> they said, oh, we need to make it a dollar more. They made it for $3.99. People were still going crazy buying it up. So it's like 547 yards. Uh, Anti-pilling, everyday bobbin, three balls in one, endless possibilities. I believe tank, I love to crochet. The, the shawl queen, um, I think she made a shawl using it. It came out fabulous. I see some more of them in there too. Might be different colors. Oh my goodness. We've got another bobbin. I see a bobbin, bobbin, bobbin. Oh, oh here we go. Slightly different colors. But yeah, bobbin yarn. It's supposed to be very soft. And what do we got here? This is sustainable stitching, Lion brand yarns, respun, 100% recycled polyester. This is a bonus bundle. I've never tried this, but it's Lion brand, so it's got to be good. It's got 658 yards, and this skein, get out of town. What weight is this? It's got to be maybe a three. It says it's a four weight. 658 yards in this vein. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yardage, yeah. <laughs> more the better, right? Hold on, let me grab something else. Oops, we got some more. Oh, we got more bobbins. Oh, she packed this box full. And there's the card. Oh, gosh. There's like one, two... I've got a lot of these. Oh, here we are. <laughs> oh, this. Oh, I wonder if I can make that shawl bag of day was wearing. I really like the color she had on. I mean, I'm not usually one for black and grays, but it, Crystal at Bag O Day, I call her Bod. We a lot of us refer to her affectionately as Bod, and her husband is Mr. Bod. <laughs> but she was wearing a great poncho that she no doubt designed herself. And, and these colors. And it worked. It worked. And then she had a hat that matched, a cap, beanie, whatever you want to call it. Here's some more of this respun yarn. 658 yards. That's 1,200 yards here together. 1,200 yards. If you make something with that, a poncho, a shawl. I'm, f I'm fond of wearables. I'm not really one to wear hats unless it's super cold out or my hair is such a mess like it is right now. 
<laughs> I'm over due for a haircut. So let's see what else is in the box. I can't bring a little thing in there. I don't know what that is. Looks like a ring light, maybe. Some more of the anti- Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I love these colors. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I'll be busy. So pretty. 543 yards of these bobbins. And everybody was going crazy buying them. I think Tank bought so many, she had to do something like hang curtain rods or shower old rods and put them on that <laughs> in her house. <laughs> hang everything from the ceiling, you know. Her husband's like, what's this? <laughs> her husband's great, though. Most of everybody in our community has been blessed with very patient and understanding husbands and let us run wild with our crochet hobbies and tons of yarn in the room and I don't have a husband so I can do what I want. <laughs> the last husband I had was a control freak. Control freaks need not apply. Narcissist too, it's abusive narcissist. And she did say in her very sweet card, yes, oh this, so we got three shades, yes, we could do something very nice with the three shades, the dark, the medium, and then the lighter. Oh yeah, it's with 600, oh my gosh, 650, I can't get over that. With a size four weight. Okay, let's see what this is. Oh, she said something to help my channel because she knows I'm technically challenged. Oh, the cameras that don't want to work. Need lots of space. Wow, look. Ooh. Okay, this is a ring. I've got a small one over here, but I don't know if it's working. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, oh, a tripod. Oh, yeah, because my tripod stinks. Oh, oh, neato. I'm going to have some fun play figuring this all out and putting this together. Oh, heck yeah. And there's the mount. Oh, man, maybe this is for a phone. This is called Bytex. Yes, this is for the phone, because everybody uses their phone for rec to record tutorials. I'm like, how do you do that? I, I plug my phone into the laptop. My laptop says, you know, does not recognize device. But then one of our Yarny peeps let me know in Messenger and Facebook. She said, there's a, an app called Camo. Download it to the phone. Then you download it to the computer. And then... Supposedly, they can talk to each other. Now, you're, this is really beautiful. Man, I'm going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. Okay, now, look, there's an envelope down here. What's in here? Ooh! A flash drive, baby. Woohoo! Flash drive. Oh, yeah, these are so useful. Absolutely. A USB 3.0. 8 2.0 this is these are so useful very very nice thank you d thank you so much and i i, I did discover this website somebody turned me on to temu t is in tom emu don't go there you'll go down the rabbit hole what i've done too is i've, I've purchased micro sd cards and i bought a lot of things for giveaways because i don't have to give you just yarn you know i got other goodies now i can give you there's project bags. There's some really cool vintage-looking watches that you can wear like a necklace. Then you pop it open. I mean, we all have smart smartphones and watches and whatnot. But it's cool looking. It's real vintage. Um, let's see. Let's work this light here. This is plugged in. Uh, let's see if I can get this one to work. Yep, yeah, it's plugged in. <laughs> so many wires. Here we go. You see it lighting up? Oh, here we go. Turn down this way. Ooh. Here I am. Hello. Can you see me now? <laughs> oh, fun with this. Uh, there we go. Different, there's different colorations. You can dim it. This is my little small one, but Dia sent me the Grand Master of Ring Lights. Like I said, we'll be lit up like a Christmas tree in here. And then you can see every freckle. <laughs> I'll have a contest. Count the freckles on Christie's face. <laughs> okay, I did something now. It doesn't, here it goes. Lights up. It's brighter, brighter, brighter. 
So I've been busy working on some baby items for my neighbor, Megan. She's got a baby shower to go to in February, and they know it's a girl, so I, it's all pink stuff. And last month, for December, she had a baby shower, so I was frantic, and sometimes she doesn't give me quite enough notice. I mean, she doesn't realize, as a non-crocheter, that crochet can take some time to, to make something. So I'm getting kind of frantic. I'm like, can I get this done in two weeks? <laughs> but I don't crochet as fast as D or tank. And, I'm, and then I've got the cats that just constantly drive me crazy over here. There's two cats. One is 10 years old. He's getting old and trifling. The, the young and he's almost two years old. He's alpha cat. He's into everything. And they're like busting down my bedroom door. They want food and they want it yesterday. I'm like, ah, it's in a lot of distractions. And of course, I got chickens. I got to keep an eye on them, make sure I feed them. Uh, the price of eggs has gone through the roof, and I'm just, I'm willing to give them away. I'm really, I get so many eggs. Uh, last year, I was giving them away hens and, and eggs. I was leaving eggs out for the possum. So, that's what I've been busy working on. And of course, everything is in my bedroom. I do most of everything in my bedroom. Try to keep away from the cats and keep the cats away from my yarn. And right now I'm in my yarn room, which if I'm going to try to put that other footage up. <laughs> I did last week I came in here and I had purchased something from Dollar Tree, but it wasn't a dollar. But it's cool. It was $20, kind of a lot. But I was going to give it to Tank and then it dawned on me. Wait, I think she said she's got some breathing problems or... I, I, what it does is it, it puts some oil and water in it and it changes colors, LED colors and soft blue, indigo blue to red and it makes all these pretty colors and then the steam is coming out with the oil and makes the room smell really fragrant. I said, yeah, I'm going to give her that and then I remembered, no, I can't give her that. So I plugged it in, I put it in here and I tried to put it on one of the shelves behind me and my top care unit started falling apart. Like, no! <laughs> I mean, I zip-tied the first one. I mean, that one seems sturdy enough. But, you know, my back started screaming, so it's... I get limited sometimes on how much I can do. Um, what else? Uh, it's been an interesting week in the streets of YouTube. Bridget Cleans Crafts by Bridget just celebrated a milestone and her birthday. So we had a live, I think that was yesterday, the 11th, which today, today's the, yesterday on the 11th, that was fun, a lot of giveaways, a lot of people showed up, she had a whole bunch of thumbs up, oh, I way over 100, it was great to see everybody come out and support Bridget, I offered to donate, but it was too late, I had to watch a video the day before, which I didn't know, there's a lot of times you could say, I'm willing to donate something, they'll be like, okay, I mean, it was only $10, but... You know, obviously she wants to really keep a tight ship and keep eyes on whatever she wants to. She's, everybody's different. Most people, I say, I want to, you know, donate, look at the bank account and say, yeah, I can spare 10. They're like, oh, cool, thanks, Christy. I do what I can, you know. Sometimes just being there and giving that thumbs up is really important. To show support, leaving a comment of support. So, Queen's Crafts by Bridget. Like Mama G Gear says, you ain't one of the cool kids unless you have a Bridget bag. Bridget makes beautiful project bags. She does them with the Japanese knot style handles. She does with regular handles. She makes little cake cozies where you just put your cake in that so it doesn't turn the yarn barf when it starts collapsing on itself. It keeps it clean and in one place. Um, so she's very talented. Um, you check out Queen's Crafts by Bridget and be a cool kid and get a project bag. <laughs> I'm going to have to be a little cool kid and just get a cake bag for now. You know, I live on a fixed income, so. Got a lot of bills that come out, and I do that right off the bat, right in the first thing after Uncle Sam takes the dump. I'm like, okay, got the mortgage. Then I got one, two, three, four, seven credit cards. In the meantime, I still got to buy cat food and kitty litter, so yeah. Somewhere in there, I might find some food, money for food for me. Usually, I just go over to uh, Dollar Tree and live on hamburgers and breakfast cereal. And of course, I got my own eggs. As long as I have milk and cere uh, milk and bread, 
and cheese, you know, I can make hamburgers, cheeseburgers. So I do all right. I'm not starving. I may not have the healthiest diet. I'm not getting my greens, but I don't have the worst diet. It could be a lot worse. I don't eat a lot of junk food. I don't eat fried food, so I'm not doing too bad. I've lost a lot of weight since I got out of the truck. That's a good thing. Because trucking starts putting the weight on you. Plus, you're getting older. Us women going through menopause. The weight sneaks up on you. So, I used to be a pear shape. Now, I'm more like an apple. <laughs> I think a lot of women can relate to that. So, we had Queen's Crafts by Bridget yesterday. The birthday party and the um, milestone anniversary. She hit 1,000 subs. So, that's amazing. Um... Of course, we had Dee's party on Saturday, and there's so much going on. And, of course, Granny D every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, live at 5, and tea at 3 on Saturdays and Sundays is tea at 3. Tea at, tea at 3 at Knit, Pearl, and Squirrel, which is Granny D. She's the den mother of YouTube. That's what I call her, because we all meet up there. We're all her little squirrels all gathering up, <laughs> and it's fun, you know, it's, Wherever you are, because she's consistent. See, I was trying to do a live on Tuesday, or at least make a video, but um, I'm not consistent yet. I need a set time, and I need to get myself pulled together and, and do it. And I haven't, I've only done two lives on Tuesdays, so I just need to put out some more content. So y'all can get to know me as more like a, like a person, not just me typing in the, in the text box. Um, oh, and Dee, uh, she, her, and I both have this. <laughs> I love this. The cat did it. <laughs> I got it screams, it got clapping. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. That's so much fun. So anyway, I guess that's it for now. I got to show you my happy mail from Dee and from Abigail Van Hooten, happy mail. And I won on Dee's live last Saturday, and I wasn't even trying. She had, she had the kind of contest we have to type in real fast, like everything positive, positive things, and the chat is flying. You might catch a word, pizza, Brrr, and then chocolate. <laughs> and all I typed is one time, I said, good luck, everyone. <laughs> and and, and night butt called yarn barf and she was shocked and I was shocked. I'm like, oh my gosh. I wasn't even trying, so I made sure I didn't type a single thing in the night night butt in the next two giveaways she had. But um I just very grateful. These these are blessings, absolutely. That's my passion, is my love, is yarn and crocheting. And now making having wonderful yarny friends in the YouTube community. And I watch Mary Ann from the Crotchety Clogger. Go check her out if you've not heard of her. Mary Ann, she's a sweetheart. She makes beautiful stitch markers and these awesome row counters, like an abiscus style. They're all different, they're all gorgeous. She's got different sizes. But she even said, um, uh -oh, I'm gonna have a brain fart. <laughs> she's having her milestone coming up on January 29th. Her tubiversary, as she calls it. And uh, I don't know if it's a milestone with subs, but it's definitely an anniversary on YouTube. And yes, that's right. She said the same thing because she joined YouTube right before COVID hit, which I think was January of 2020. And she's right. COVID didn't really hit all the United States, I think, until like March or April. Because I watched it on the map. And I kept warning people on Facebook. I kept warning them, it's going to be a pandemic. And they're like, Christy, you're crazy, you know. Conspiracy theorist. Well, how come all of us conspiracy theorists have turned out to be right? Duh. Yeah, it turned not only into a pandemic, it turned into something much worse than we ever expected. With lockdowns and closed businesses, people losing, I mean, it was just, just been really traumatic for, for the world, not just America. It's really been traumatic for a lot of people. And, Thank, I don't go out without a mask. I'm not taking any chances. No, I did not get the vaccine. And I'm healthy as a horse. So anybody who's vaccinated, don't get mad at me. 
Because being vaccinated doesn't mean you won't get it. So there, Nina, Nina, Nina. I know people that had three shots and they still get sick. So no, I just, it's like trying to avoid getting the flu. Keep your hands away from your face. Sanitize. When you're at the stores and you're touching stuff, the stuff on the lower shelves, that's the stuff the little kids get their hands on. They're, they're little germ spreaders, you know, <laughs> little runny noses and mommy, what I? touching, touching, touching. And before you know it, you're going to get a cold or the flu. So keep your hands away from your face, especially if you're touching all this stuff. Sanitize and, I'm, and wear a mask. I mean, last year you couldn't go anywhere without a mask. You'd get thrown out of the store. So Stokes County, though, the law enforcement around here is excellent. Really, they don't enforce that. They didn't. It's up to the store. They let people make their own choices in Stokes County. You know, North Carolina. Don't tread on me, right? Land of the free. Home of the brave. I love North Kakalaki. I'm a, I'm a former Jersey girl, in case you can't tell. So, And I, and I practice saying y'all. <laughs> Six months before I got down here. Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Wanted to sound Southern so bad. Because when I open my mouth, people are like, y'all ain't from around here, are you? <laughs> I don't want to tell them. I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> I don't want to tell them I'm a Yankee. But no, they've been wonderful. People say, oh, the Southerners don't like Northerners. I've not had that problem down here. I'm the friendliest people I've ever met anywhere. I go into Walmart, I go in smiling, I leave smiling. I use a little riding cart now, which I hate, but I have to do it because of my back and my right knees with the arthritis and the injury. You know, I kind of look like I got in a bar fight. <laughs> I don't even drink anymore. So, yeah, I use that cart. And if somebody sees me looking up at a shelf like I'm thinking, do I want to buy that? They'll say, do you want me to get that for you? I'm like, oh, okay. And then when I go out to my pickup truck, I might have some heavy things like a big bag of uh, cat food. I might have kitty litter. People will see, and they'll, they'll just, out of the blue, come right over and say, let me give you a hand with that. They didn't do that in New Jersey. Let me tell you, so the rudest people. But down here in North Carolina, especially Stokes County, I love it. The people are awesome. So I would tell everybody, move south. If you're in a blue state, come down here to a red state. <laughs> come to North Carolina. All right, you guys. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. Just that got some great happy mail and more happy mail on the way. I'm really trying to get this room set up and the recording and get myself more technologically advanced than what I am. And D is going to help with this ring light this is beautiful look at the size of this this is big that's a big one. Ooh, i like that and i gotta figure out how all this good stuff works i think this is a, yes this is a phone holder okay that is so cool d thank you so much d's creative hands thank you Mwah. thank you my yarny sis i love you very much you got such a good heart and the other thing i love about d oh i see this goes on this thing what I love about Dee is she's really down to earth and unpretentious. I never did like phony pretentious people. And, oh, they're anathema to me. I don't want anything to do with phony pretentious stuck up people uh, or judgy people. You know, I like people to be real, be themselves. And Dee is definitely that. She's got a per great personality and a heart the size of Kansas. You know who else is like that? Very down to earth and, and generous is, is Bod. Everybody knows Crystal in Bagger Day. Everybody. She's the queen of YouTube when it comes to the crochet. I mean, she's got over a thousand patterns. So you don't know how to do something. Look there first. You know. Um, oh, and then uh, I'm going to give a shout out to John Boy Crochet. <laughs> He's so much fun. Oh my gosh, I just watched his video. He's got a pink hat that he made on with a white pom-pom and a pink cow. He was rocking the pink. My dad was Greek, and he had the Mediterranean coloring, and he had a, my daddy had a pink shirt, and he looked, used to look so good in it. And some guys are like, I'm not wearing pink, you know, they're, they're insecure within their, themselves or their masculinity, 
My dad wasn't like that, and obviously John Boy's not like that. But he is so much fun to watch. <laughs> Just watching, I wasn't even involved in the live. Just watching his videos, I'm laughing out loud. He's so much fun. Very unpretentious, very down, un unpretentious and down to earth. So check out John Boy Crochets. We got so many people I want to give shout outs to. Um, we already already shouted out Nick Pearl and Squirrel with Granny D. And we got Mary Ann, the crotchety clogger. I don't know. The song. Of course, we know Dee's creative hands. Absolutely. Go to her channel. Sub her. She wrote, She skyrocketed. She was only on for a few months. And every... I was one of the first, you know, first little group of like 100 or less. And I kept predicting you're going to be doing another milestone in another week or two. And then she hit 200. I said, I predicted that. <laughs> few weeks later, she hit 300. I'm like, I predicted that. And now she's up to 1,500, and which is still start, is climbing again. The more people that discover her and join her lives on Saturday, you can become a member. She's got, I think she's got different tiers, so. Which I like different tiers. I think John Boo is going to do the same thing. Because if enough people contribute, let's say it's only $1.99 for the lowest tier. But you've got a thousand people paying a dollar ninety dollar ninety nine, so that adds up, you know. Even after YouTube puts their greedy little hands into the takes a cut, so because so I'm on a fixed income, and um, a lot of people in my age group are. And I live alone. I don't have a husband. I don't have a pension. Trucking is not a union job for the most part. So. Um, but I'm blessed. I have food. I have a roof over my head. I have my own home. Needs a little work, but <laughs> but it is a roof over my head and a lot of friends. A lot of friends. A lot of you two wonderful yarny yarny peeps and friendships and it's been it's been great since I was introduced to I started out with Nick Pearl and Squirrel, Granny D from Ralph's Trucking. He runs for Tyson now. You could thank him for the chicken in the market. He's putting up with the headache of running reefer. That's tough. I started out running reefer. But I was still I was still young. I was like 40. A lot of energy. Had a waistline. <laughs> but, you know, but reefer is real tough. Um, but, yeah, check out Ralph's Trucking. There's so many good people. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Just thank you so much, Dee's Creative Hands. Thank you, Abigail Van Hooten, for your blessing bag and for being a supporter and contributor of the Yarny uh, community. And Sherry Knowles, too. And can you see my sun bunny behind me? I got the, I'm afraid to touch everything's going to fall down again. Come here, sun bunny. His name is Roger. This is from Mrs. C's, Ms. C's Cottage. This is Roger. Isn't he gorgeous? She made him especially for me. The Wolverine. Now she's up in Canada. Wool, what is W O O L? Wolverine. Get to get to play on words. Wool, the fiber. Um, she'd won on one of the channels and she gifted it to me, which is so generous. And we do that a lot. We'll pay it forward. You know, a lot of times we'll say, oh, you know what? Put na Tank's name on that, that giveaway ticket. You know, we do that for each other. And, of course, we send out happy mail and blessing bags. And it's been fun. It's been so much fun. <laughs> and I don't have to go yarn shopping because I've been doing the Shop My Stash 2023 challenge. So it's now the 12th day into the new year, and I have not purchased yarn. Woohoo! Right there, that's pretty special. I've not purchased, I've been looking, I look, but I didn't buy any. But it's okay if you're given yarn, <laughs> or you win yarn, but you're not supposed to buy yarn, you're supposed to shop your stash. So that's what I've been doing, I even though they had some sales, but look how much yarn. I've got so much, I'm so blessed. This is my, I'm in heaven here with my yarn. Even if there's things falling down, I'll fix it. And in fact, I have another one I have to put together. <laughs> to hold what? To hold more yarn. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting so excited. I'm looking at these bobbins. Man, I can't wait to start a new project. I just don't know what yet, but i got to finish the baby stuff I'm making for Megan. 
Anyway, thank you for watching and listening to me babble for whatever, however long I've been on. I love you all. Thank you for being a part of my YouTube family and, you know, hanging out. Just leave that thumbs up, even, you know, just stop and leave a thumb. In fact, sometimes if I do miss Granny D, I go back and leave her a thumb, you know. Because the thumbs are important for the YouTube algorithm. Because then they'll, they'll recommend your channel, which helps you so more people can join your family. It's all about supporting each other. That's what makes this community the best I've ever seen on YouTube. And you've got a lot of different communities. You've got homesteading and gardening. You've got cooking communities. You've got the fiber community. And it's a funny thing with the fiber community. There's a lot of crossovers. I, I have homesteading people in my family that I subscribe to them. Like Garden State Gardener, Joe from New Jersey. <laughs> He's awesome. He does Sunday fun days. Check out Joe, the Garden State Gardener. Check out Joe. He's a great guy. He's such a great down-to-earth guy. Another one with a heart of gold. He's got gardening tips, and he gives away seeds. He's got the wheel of seeds. He's got the wheel. It runs it right, and he, it'll stop on a name. And, and he gives away yarn, and he gives away seeds. And it's a lot of fun going to his live chat, too. Um, he calls himself a Polak. And I laughed. I just think that's so funny. Because we had a store in Linden called the Polish store. And everybody called it the Polak store. See, I, and I said, well, somebody said, that's not politically correct. That's rude. Well, Joe calls himself a Polak. My friend Tony was Polish. He said, yeah, I'm a Polak. <laughs> Whatever. You know, I just can't let every little thing offend you. If I had a dime for every time I got offended in my life, I would be a millionaire in dimes. I would have dimes. This room would be up to the ceiling in dimes. This house would be up to the ceiling in dimes. The floor would be collapsing if I had a dime for every time I got offended. So, grow a pair. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Oh, I'm looking at all my beautiful Hobie Sparkly Universal yarn. Oh, man. Ooh, they just had a huge sale and I couldn't, I couldn't buy they had a huge sale. So much, like 50% off, 55% off, and then another 6%. I got two of the same that match. Oh, that's great. Ooh, 505 yards each. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I try to get at least two of the same, maybe three, so I can make a project. Okay, that's it. I'm going to shut up now. I love you guys. Thank you for coming over and watching. Leave a thumbs up, and... We'll see you later, alligator. Have a blessed and healthy day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> what do I do with my vape? I don't know. Okay, stop recording. Here we go. Houston, we have a problem. Oh, man. wrong button. <laughs> My Tom Care unit started falling apart pretty much on its own. I can't look at this house. All of my yarn's on the floor. We got a yarn explosion. What it is is I brought that little, um, can you see that? It's an infuser. It makes the room smell pretty and it glows with pretty lights. And I said, all right, I'll put it on one of these shelves. <laughs> well, that was a mistake, and everything just started falling down, and it's not that easy to put together. Now, the other one, I think I used a lot of zip ties. This one, I'm like, where's the zip ties? So, yeah, we've got a problem. <laughs> I, I, I hate this house. It's it's about 1,100, 1,200 feet total house, but... You know, it's like you get a big pizza pie and then cut it into 16 slices. Everybody gets a little slice. Well, the rooms are cut in half. I'm not used to such tiny rooms. You know, and I try to make this my nice yarn room, a little escape from the cats where I can sit and crochet and keep an eye on my chickens outside. And But as you can see, I've got another computer, a big one. That's a Hackintosh. It's Windows and Mac rolled into one. Oh. <sighs> Shop my stash, 2023. <laughs>
A lot of rainbow yarn because I love rainbow. I got lots of stuff. I guess I better start sending some yarn out, huh? But I got to get this thing put back together again. I don't like that. I like to walk in here and see my yarn stacked nicely on the shelf. Now it's all over half of it's on the floor. Well, not half of it, but. Oh. So how's your day going? Well, I didn't know I knew that many cuss words. And I sure knew how to put them together pretty creatively. So yeah, we got one of the cubes back. But it's like a domino, you know, you get one cube and the next one pops loose. And then the other one pops loose. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tom Care storage unit. When it works, it's great. When it doesn't, it's a beast. Really pulling my hair out now. Damn it. Yam it, yam it, yam it. Well, I got part of it put together, but then I see the back is missing in there, and here there's no back. Oh my gosh. And I need more of these corner pieces, and I'm gonna have to find the zip ties. In the meantime, though, I found this candy shop. Who we'll made this premiere? Candy shop, 260 yards, yes, premier yarns. And I got this a few years ago, two or three years ago. And one of our favorite creators, might have been Fiber Spider, I'm not sure, but they made a real cute hat with that. So I think I'm going to send this to Margie's Crafty Corner. She was one of the winners in Tank's contest. And she, Melanie's Creative Corner, I think, was first place. Margie was second place. So I sold Tank, I'll send Margie something. So I guess I'll send her this, and she might have a couple other little doodads we could send her. Some happy mail, of course I want to send Tank some stuff. And my friend Judy and Charlotte, I made her a pair of gloves. Except I'm dealing with some yarn barf now at the end, but... Oh, ain't that something? It was doing so good till I came along. <laughs> it just went to pieces. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> anybody need rainbow yarn? Got plenty of that, as I love rainbow yarn. But I would really like some rainbow yarn and ice yarn, Picasso rainbow. One of those, the kind of stuff that Crystal from Bag o Day uses. Bod gets the best yarns. Oh, I'll tell you. I got a winner at one of her contests. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this. I got a very, very small room. Got my stereo set up here. And my chair and a green screen and my big computer and I mean if this room was just a few feet larger I'd be one happy camper right now but now I can barely move and I get the cat outside yowling for me like I haven't already fed them twice today what is with these cats they're eating pooping machines that's what they live to do they eat and they poop and then they meow for more oh listen here meow he's demanding what, Rexy? What, Rexy? Wow. Hear him? Demanding little poop head. Cats, I'm telling you. I just want one cat. Uh. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> 